Hi there, my dear viewers. Today we're gonna talk about this book, The Great Gatsby. Yes, I did some underlined uh, things and I'm a Russian man who learns English through my own experiences and today I prepared 10 words or maybe more <laughs> words uh, what I learned from The Great Gatsby chapter 1. Yes, and uh, it is first, first things what I learned, okay? First thing first, it is our word to incline. Incline, it means that have a tendency to do something. Maybe you have tendency to spy for somebody. Maybe you have a tendency to do the, <laughs> the same thing daily. For example, you are wake up, you wake up at the same time, maybe at 7 a.m. and it is your inclined uh, tendency, yes? Okay, and also we have inclined like a plane because uh, this plane have tendency to go maybe down. Yes. Also on these examples you can see I have a tendency of loving everything that destroys me. For example, this man <laughs> or maybe a tendency to be uh, to do this something dishonest. Yes, and in this book we have uh, I'm inclined to reserve all judgments. Mhm. Mm Good. That means that uh, re reservation of uh, <laughs> of judgments. Ne next, unjustly accused. Unjustly accused means that uh, that you are maybe not right. That you are right, but uh, morally, look in a manner that is not in accordance with what is morally right and fair. Means that you are. Uh, not really accused that you are not really prisoner but somebody said yes and just uh, <laughs> for for you oh jesus i feel something uh, something not comfortable next unsought not searched for requested or desired it means that you do you desired you maybe expected that your results of your exams will be good but they was not good it means unsought a love sought is good but given unsought is better william shakespeare next to feign man means that pretend to be affected by do you remember your uh, old childhood experiences of using temperature glass and uh, attaching it to your uh, to your lamp or maybe you was uh, pretended pretended to be funny because your uh, lecturer said good bad joke but you don't want to be like a, like uh, like be disrespectful to him yes preoccupation next word is preoccupation it is the state of condition of being preoccupied or engrossed with something for example it is uh, when you are thinking about something like a hmm, 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 and you always preoccupied with this it is occupation of your head next hostile hostile means that you are in environment that dislikes you or maybe in environment that's uh, opposite of your feelings unfriendly yes for example uh, work hostile work next levity it is characteristics of me that i have uh, levity inside of me for example uh, I can do things that nobody is expecting in some situation. For example, I can laugh at uh, things that somebody died. And uh, it is funny for me sometimes, but uh, I understand that it is not good. It is not a respectful way. Yes, and uh, it is not good characteristics sometimes. But it is funny because you are so uh, sanguine. Next. To quiver, it is tremble. Oh, tremble as fuck. Plagiarism, plagiarism, plagiarism. Plagiarism means that you did something, you stole something. For example, 
work or somebody and said, hey, it is mine, it is mine, not yours. Next, to mar, impair the quality of appearance of, spoil. For example, our, this president, who is, it is Donald Trump duck, and he spoiled country in kind of way, he marred it, yes? Or maybe one player marred, marred this grass on a golf field, or you marred carpet with your wine glass. Decency. Decency it is behavior that conforms to accepted standards or morality or respectability. Means that uh, here is a disrespectful way. Yes? H here, in this situation, it is some respectful or maybe in this society we have some specific decency. Yes? And the most practical uh, kind of politic politics is the politics of decency. And, oh, that's all. All words what we learned. Exactly. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, leave me in the comment section. It will be really interesting to know. And uh, I hope that uh, we will continue our journey of learning English. And I don't know why by my voice is so... I don't know, I feel something with my voice. Maybe I should speak louder, or maybe not. But uh, low, it is so hard to speak. And it is so not so happy. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed the season, and uh, let's continue our learning words. <laughs>